What is a ground loop? While describing a ground loop is easy, truly defining the term can require a bit of a deep dive into an electrical rabbit hole. But to begin, if you've ever used audio or music gear that plugs into a wall outlet, then it's likely that you've experienced a ground loop. You connect a couple of pieces of gear together, you plug them in, and you hear a loud hum or buzzing sound out of the speakers. It's very annoying, of course, and it prevents you from using the equipment until the problem is solved. Now that hum or buzz is the symptom or the result of a ground loop, with audio at least. But that doesn't tell us what a ground loop is, or why it occurs, or how to cure the problem. So let's take a closer look. Now you can sort of think of a ground loop as analogous to feedback with a guitar or a microphone. An electrical loop is created and signal circulates through that loop, manifesting as the familiar buzz or hum we all love to hate. So two separate devices are connected to ground via different paths, for example, by connecting their AC plugs into different wall outlets. Then those two pieces of gear are connected to each other with audio cables. And typically, shielded cables are used to interconnect the gear with that shield connected to ground via the chassis of each piece of gear. This means that there's a connection to ground from a device directly through its AC cable, of course, but there's also a ground connection between the two devices via cable shields. So current can flow to ground from each piece of gear by either path, directly through the item's AC cable, or it can flow to ground through the other device because of the connection via the audio cable. Now having multiple paths to ground like this is really the root of the problem. Those different paths will have different electrical potentials, and because of the low resistance of the ground connections, it makes it easy for AC current to be induced and to flow through the signal path, resulting in noise and hum in the output. But you could also have a ground loop inside a single device if the circuit design isn't done properly, since there may be multiple points inside the circuit that are grounded. So there are a lot of places where ground loops can occur. And when you think about the complexity of many audio and music technology systems, the number of interconnects among all that gear and so on, it's easy to see how ground loops can result. Although I will point out one brilliant example of a format designed to prevent ground loops. With MIDI connections, the interconnects use what's called a telescoping shield, which is only connected to ground on one end, eliminating the possibility of ground loops, at least via the MIDI connections. Now in audio, ground loops cause buzz or hum at 60 cycles in the United States, while in other parts of the world, the buzz might be at 50 hertz. With video, ground loops can cause distortion and sync issues, and with computers and digital signals, ground loops can disrupt data transmission. You might think that you could just filter out 60 hertz from the signal to remove a ground loop, but it's not quite that easy. Even if you can high pass the signal to take out 60 hertz without affecting or doing damage to the rest of the audio, you'll still hear the problem because of harmonics in the signal. It's very common to have ground loops if you're a guitar player running two amps. It's also common when a bass player uses a direct box into the PA along with a bass amp. We see them very often when you connect a computer into a pro audio rig. They're also common with PA systems, especially with powered speakers, with keyboard rigs, with DJ setups, in studios. So let's just say ground loops are pretty pervasive problems in audio and music work. So how do you fix and prevent ground loops? The solution is simple in concept, though not always easy in practice. The answer is that anything that breaks the loop will stop the noise. Sometimes plugging all the gear into a single AC outlet will help. If you can run off of battery power, there is no ground connection, so no ground loop problems. If you're using a direct box and you get hum, there's often a switch on the DI that allows you to lift the signal ground to break the loop. A very common solution, although absolutely not recommended, is to use one of those little AC ground lifters, which converts a three-prong AC plug into a two-prong plug. But keep in mind that while this eliminates the ground point, it also eliminates the protection that the ground connection offers and can create a potentially lethal electrical shock safety hazard. Those little three to two prong adapters are nicknamed Widowmakers for good reason. The best solution is to isolate either the signal path or the power connection using a one-to-one -one transformer. A transformer works by electromagnetically inducing signal from one coil of wire to another, so there's no electrical connection between the coils, eliminating the possibility for a ground loop. Now, a number of companies make great transformer-based solutions that are very easy to implement. For example, it doesn't get much simpler than the Morley Humex Hum Exterminator, which eliminates ground loops that result from the AC power connection, but it still gives you a solid and safe ground for your system. A lot of engineers and musicians I know keep one or two of these in their gig bag just in case they run into a ground loop problem on stage or in the studio. It's very handy to have around. If you want to learn more about audio and music concepts like this, visit the news and research page at Sweetwater.com or check out the other videos in our glossary terms playlist.